Hi, Houston Singletary. For the next couple of minutes, we're going to be taking you through some of the new features in Live 7, mainly the new slicing audio to MIDI feature. So let's talk about that right now. You can see on track one, got a basic audio loop in clip slot number one. We'll go ahead and fire that off. That sounds good. If we double click, we can see down in the sample edit window, you can see all the information pertaining to that loop. So what we want to do is we want to call up our slice to new MIDI track function. We just simply right click on the audio clip. It brings up a brand new dialog window, slice to new MIDI track. This is the choice of increments. In this case, we want to go ahead and break this into 16th note MIDI slices. We'll hit OK and watch what happens down below. Our brand new drum rack opens up. This drum rack contains all the individual slices of that original audio clip. That's our drum rack, individual pads playing individual slices. If I go up and double click now, on the new MIDI clip of the sliced audio, you can see that in the MIDI note editor, I've got a display of all those individual slices. Let's go ahead and play it and check it out. Now we'll go ahead and let it play. We'll go ahead and manipulate some of these notes. Move these around. We can shorten them up, change their locations. And what does this do? It allows us to get some really, really cool creation ideas for this particular MIDI clip. So I like that. Let's take it a step further. We want to see these individual slices on their own track. Not a problem. We've got a new tab button up at the top. We'll click on that. And now you can see from left to right, the individual slices have their own track view as well. Very cool. The other thing this allows me to do, if I want to go ahead and solo a track, Okay, let's take Slice 5. We'll go over to our Audio Effects browser, and we'll call up one of Live's internal effects. In this case, let's take a Ping Pong Delay. Drag that right onto the individual track, Slice 5. Kind of cool. Let's go ahead and play everything now in text. And you can see down below that I've got Ping Pong Delay layered right behind the simpler instrument playing that individual slice. Each slice has its own simpler instrument containing the individual slice location of that original piece of audio. So we can close this tab button up. Last but not least, I want to take this and turn it back into its own audio clip. That's very, very simple. I'll simply freeze the track. This will contain all the different MIDI locations and MIDI notes. It'll also contain the effects that I put on there, in this case, the ping pong delay on slice number five. So let's go ahead and freeze it. Go to my edit window, freeze track. There we go. Now, watch very closely. I'm going to drag this MIDI clip into its own audio track. And now, it's its own audio clip. A very, very cool way to work. That's slicing audio to MIDI. We've done it 360 degrees. We started with audio track, sliced it to MIDI, recreated a new groove, a new feel, and then we transformed that back into its own audio slice, its own audio clip, all inside Live 7.